So over the last week or so, I've been going into my local Sam's Club for my delivery, just like I do every single day. Every day, there's a little bit less and less and less in the back room. Whereas the back room's been crammed full for months on end now, all of a sudden there's nothing back there. Friday there. Friday I went in for the delivery and their back room was bare. I mean, you could play football back there, folks. The trailers that used to be piled out in the yard, they're all gone. The trailers on the dock, they're all gone. They had one trailer on the dock and they have five doors and the rest of the doors are all wide open, which hasn't been the case in months. So I went in and I was talking with the receiver I asked him what was going on back here because, you know, usually they don't have room to put nothing and you can play football. So he says, you know, what's going on is he goes, we've had to take everything that's in the back room and put it out on the floor to fill all the empty holes throughout the store because they're not getting the products in that they do need. They're having an issue getting the products from the warehouse to the stores but the products that are coming in is the stuff that they don't need so one has to ask themselves is there other companies that are having the same issues costco bj's target you know all these big retailers are they having these same issues where the product that they have in the warehouses, nobody wants at the stores because they already have those. The products they need to put on the floor to replenish, they're not getting. And it goes for everything from furniture to housewares, clothes, food, the whole nine yards. And what is really going on? Why can't they get these products? Now, their, their trucks are running but they're just not bringing what they need. So whatever they get in, they're just filling the holes on the floor. They're making the store look full for you and me when we walk in there, so nobody is questioning anything. But in the meantime, the logistics of the shipping and receiving the, the right products to fill the right shelves is not happening. So something's going wrong somewhere along the lines in the whole supply chain. And I think that the whole system is slowly shutting down as far as what people really need compared to what is available. And this is what they're putting on the floors. So if you're looking for certain types of products, you probably may not be able to find them. Something that maybe these stores have carried for months or years now isn't available. A lot of the products that they've been putting back out is from last year. They haven't really received a lot of new product and they can't keep the shelves full of the regular product. Something is majorly wrong and everybody needs to pay attention to this and listen to what I'm saying because I see it on a daily basis. So you all have to make sure you're doing your part in being prepared and taking notice of what is going on in your stores when you go into them, whatever store it is. It could be your local grocery store, it could be Target, it could be Walmart, it could be Sam's, Costco, BJ's. What are you seeing? Are you seeing stuff that shouldn't be where it is <laughs> because they're just trying to fill a hole? I don't know. But all I know is it's a scary situation in the times we live in with all these high inflation, with these high interest rates, with the whole China shutdown that's taking place and slowing down all the products that are coming over here from overseas 
And then once it gets here, all these wicked storms that we've been having has been slowing the progress of the supply chain down to a crawl in some areas. They're closing massive highways because of all these bad storms and everything else. That affects you and me on what we can get, what we can buy, how much we pay, and the whole nine yards. Prices are increasing on a daily basis on a lot of goods. So you need to be really aware of what is taking place because as I saw in my Sam's, all of a sudden their back room is completely empty. There's no trailers that need to be unloaded and they just can't get any product that they really need. And I'm sure they're not the only one. Heed the warning folks, something is going on and we're not being told what it is. So I'm Survival Preparedness Beginners. I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. And remember, make sure you're paying attention when you go in these stores and see what you see. If you'd like, reach out to me with an email and tell me what you saw or take some pictures because there's a lot of stuff going on out there and we all need to be ahead of the game and be prepared. So until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.